Have you seen the new Scream Six trailer that just dropped? <laughs> I, I, well, I, I'm. I, is this the part where I get to watch it? <laughs> I, I'll let you go watch it, and then we'll have a little discussion about it. Okay, so what are your uh, initial thoughts on it? How hyped are you? It's, I thought it looked interesting. It looks like it's taken a, a slightly new uh, shot of the whole ghost face thing. The beginning when he's sort of hunting down the two women with a shotgun. Well, one, the fact that he's or, or she is attacking in a public place is different than what I'm used to seeing Ghostface do. And also the whole shotgun thing adds a more interesting element. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but there was an image of Ghostface holding the shotgun going around, like, probably in the past month or so, and everyone was blowing up at the fact that he was holding a shotgun. They, they were like, how dare they make him use a shotgun? He, you know, he should be sticking to just using a knife, and, and things like that. To me, I think it's completely badass. <laughs> I really enjoy just watching him blow some someone's face off with a shotgun. I know that that did something for me. I know, I know it's not the usual and I'm sure it's just this one scene in the movie. I I don't think, you know, throughout the movie he's just going to be going around hunting people down with machine guns <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, as a once-off, I don't have a big problem with it. A lot of other people seem to have a problem with that, at least initially. But then again, you know, I think back, technically all the killers in the Scream movies at some point use a gun. I mean, usually it's after they've taken off the costume, but you know, at the end of the original Scream, they're using guns. At the end of the second movie, they're using guns. And I'm sure they did in most of the other movies. What do you, what do you think about the whole gun thing? Well, it's funny you mention that because I did see people talking about this type of thing. Like, hey, how do you feel about slasher villains using guns? I saw this type of talk on Twitter and I had no idea what the hell people were talking about. Because well, everybody has seen this trailer and at that point I had not. To me, it just makes logical sense. I'm not sure how many killers have done the whole ghost face persona in the screen movies overall, but the idea that every single person who happens to wear this mask has to use a knife strikes me as ridiculous. I mean, maybe that specific guy comes from more of a hunting background. And, and to be fair, it's not like he had the shotgun with him. The guy was going to use it against him, and he was able to get it from him. So I guess you use what's around, and he saw the shotgun, he went for it. So yeah. I don't know. As, as, as long as it's not like a focus... I mean, it's not like a um, most dangerous game situation where he's just hunting people with a shotgun. As long as it happens, you know, just once or twice, I have no problem with it. And people making a, a big issue out of it seems like a, a interesting thing to focus on. You got a problem here, guy? Now, the other parallel that has been drawn is how it has a lot of Jason Takes Manhattan vibe to it because, you know, usually we see Ghostface in the suburbs. Now he's in big city. Once again, that's a change that I really like to see. And, and to be honest, you know, Jason Takes Manhattan, that's somewhat of an underrated fun movie. Yeah, it's stupid and doesn't really make sense, but that doesn't stop it from being enjoyable. And I, I guess the biggest thing there is, you know, how does a boat from a lake somehow get to New York? <laughs> like, that doesn't make sense, so... But at least here, I'm sure it makes sense. I mean, at least it's possible. Whereas getting from a lake to a big city like New York, I mean, that, that that's uh, less logical than Jason going into space. Yeah, so I should say that I've not seen the um, the newest Cree movie that came out just last year. I've not seen that yet. So I imagine that might take place where all the other movies have taken place, aside from number three, which took place, of course, in Hollywood. So moving the story to, like, a, a bigger city, I don't know, I think it has a lot of potential. Like, it, it, I thought, actually, the first scene in the trailer was quite striking. Just two young women run into a, what looked to be, like, a, a gas station, or maybe just a convenience store. 
looking for help. There's a bunch of people and then most of them leave. I feel bad that nobody else helps or tried to help them, but hey, I guess if there's a guy with a knife chasing someone, how you know what can you do? I just think it has potential though that maybe we haven't seen in the more recent stream movies, as enjoyable as some of them may have been. I'm guessing you didn't see the teaser trailer for Scream 6 that came out a little while back. There's like a group of friends on the um, subway, and then Ghostface is also on the subway, but then there's also a bunch of other people wearing like Halloween costumes, so I'm guessing this might take place somewhere around Halloween. And, you know, they they kind of just look through the crowd of all these people wearing costumes and you kind of see Ghostface there poking his head out. And, I don't know, it's, it, it looks really cool to me. Yeah, that subway scene also stood out. Looks maybe a little chaotic, but I like the vibes it was going for. I mean, it, it's probably going to be not a particularly long scene in the movie, but I can see the scene being pretty decent. You know, for for me, the best thing about Scream is the actual costume itself. The costume and the mask. So, as long as they've got that, and they don't change too much from that, to me it's quite hard to fuck up a Scream movie. <laughs> I know Scream 3 wasn't that great, but... Uh, so, I mean, it's certainly possible, but the best thing about the movie is definitely the costume of the killer. What always drew me into the Scream movies, and one of the re- reasons I, I enjoy them as much as I do, I'm, I'm a big mystery guy, so the whole mystery behind, hey, who is the killer, or is there maybe more than one killer, as some previous movies may have shown. That's one of the things that draws me in, so as long as the characters a decent, a decent mystery going on, I would imagine I would be happy. Though I have to admit, on a summit related thing, it looks like they're bringing back Gail, which means, well, for one, it means it looks like she survived Scream 5, so that's nice. I, I, I do wonder if maybe they'll over-relying on bringing, trying to bring characters back as opposed to trying to do a new story just with the base idea. Why, I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking head! Well, look, you did say that you hadn't seen the previous Scream movie just yet, which, you know, is a bit surprising to me, because I know that you really like the original Scream, and I think you like at least the second movie. I I don't know about some of the other sequels, but that previous Scream movie, me personally, I've only seen it once at the theatre. I haven't watched it again at home, but my initial impression after watching it is that I think it's actually the second best movie in the series. At least initially, maybe I'll watch it again and have a different opinion, but aside from the original, which, you know, you can never really expect a sequel to top an original, but I really enjoyed that last one, and I, I did hear a lot of other people saying something very similar. There were other people I know who watched it and said, best movie since the original. Now, that that might not be a universal opinion, but I think it's a strong contender. Yeah, it's one of those movies I definitely want to see. I, I don't go out to the uh, theaters much to begin with, and recently my personal life hasn't been ideal to going out to watch movies, so yeah, it, it's definitely on my want to see list, and I'm hoping for good things. I mean, I actually watched Scream 3 this last October, and yeah, it wasn't great, but I was still generally somewhat okay with that one too, so even like the worst Scream movies have something to make me happy. Yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm pretty excited for that movie, to be honest. I, I like the new location. I like the fact that Ghostface is willing to blow someone's head off with a shotgun. <laughs> you know, it's it's the sixth movie in the series. There's only so much time you can just have him stalking people in the suburbs. This is doing something different without going too extreme. Like, they're not putting Ghostface in space. <laughs> you know, they're not they're not doing something silly like that. But, you know, putting him in the middle of a big city... I think there's uh, quite a lot of possibilities to go on from that. Yeah, it feels just different enough to maybe... There might have been some people who may be a bit tired of the series, and just moving it to a different location like this might be different enough just to pull some people back in. 